Would you like to know how to make a GIF? Yeah, because I have this guy always make mine for me and I just throw them on my stream deck. So if you want to find out, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. And this is Live Streaming Tech, where you're going to learn how to live stream online a super a simple. Okay, and speaking of simple, you would sit there and think making a GIF is super simple. Well, for people like me that are kind of lazy, I rely on guys like this right here to make my GIFs. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what's Walt using GIFs for on his live streams? Well, basically, when certain people will say certain things in my chat or I would do certain things within a game, it would be a good opportune moment to hit a button on my stream deck and trigger a certain GIF. Dale, go ahead and throw one up in here and post. All right, so Dale's gonna show us how he does it, and hopefully I can go back and watch this after post-edit and learn how it's done and do it myself instead of bugging him to do it. Take it away, Dale. All right, in order to do the GIF, we're actually gonna need the software here. It's called Camtasia. I've used these on previous videos. Uh, for this one, you can actually pick up the software at livestreamingtech.site slash Camtasia. They do have a free 30-day trial. However, there is a watermark over top of it. This may not be a big issue, especially if you're just doing a little gift that you want to put through a live stream of some sort, because obviously it's going to be pretty small. In any event, uh, we're going to go ahead and open up Camtasia. Then we're going to hit New Project. Now, in the event that you wanted to, say, do a recording of some sort through Camtasia, that's fine. I recommend that you pre-record everything ahead of time. Maybe use your mobile device or something else like that, or if you've got like a webcam, or even if you have video footage from a previous live stream or a video of some sort that you've done. I recommend that if you're going to make a GIF that you don't use something that is copywritten. So, for instance, you don't want to be going and stripping something from Talladega Nights and that gets tracked back to you. I know that there's a vast majority of the GIFs out there that have some type of copyrighted content, but I just would stress that you try to create some yourself. So I've already created mine. I've done a couple of wacky ones. So what we'll end up doing is I'm going to go into media, import media, and then I'm going to go and drop in the video that I need. So I created this crazy wacky one. We're going to hit open. We're going to drop it on in there. I'm going to right click on it add to timeline at playhead. It's going to drop it in there. Now we don't need the sound. So obviously this is not a big deal. You can probably leave the sound on if you want to. I don't care either way. Now remember you want these gifts to be pretty short, you know, because you don't want to have something that's like an hour long gif. It's just that's not going to be something that's worthwhile. It's something that's short to the point. So that way it's not a very large file because you don't need to have this gift to be a big resource hog. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I've got this all set. I'm gonna probably have to trim it up. So I'm gonna zoom in on the timeline, trim what I don't want. So here I am, I'm gonna hit on the timeline. I'm gonna tap the letter S. Okay, I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna press Control and Delete so it scoots the entire thing over so we can actually watch this and there we go. That's pretty much all I want for my GIF. I'm going to go ahead, delete. All right, we've got this all trimmed up the way I wanted to. Now, in the event that I wanted to play around with this and maybe, you know, add some kind of text, we can go ahead and do that. Go to annotations and let's grab like a word bubble of some sort. We'll drop it on in here. I'm going to point it towards me. And who knows, maybe I can say, what do you know? And don't matter what you're going to end up putting there. I'm going to click and drag that so that way we can see it. Oh, it looks like I lost the pointer. So we'll put this a little bit towards me. All right, now let's blow it up a little bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to change the color. Let's change the type of font that we want here. I'm going to make it a little bit more bold. Let's change the bubble so it's white. Eh, that's kind of gray. Let's make it a little bit whiter here. And let's really make this pop out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that all the way down to black. And we're going to make the thickness a little bit more thick. All right, there we go. So, all right, so let's get this scooted on over here. I'm going to go and drag it this way. And we'll do a transition. We're going to drop a fade into it. So here we go. Let's see it. Now we've got that all set. This is the simple part. We're just going to hit share, local file. 
right? It's going to say custom production settings. We want to have that set in there. So if it defaults to something different, move it back over to custom production settings. We're going to hit next. And then you'll see the different file formats. GIF is right here, animation file, next. It's going to ask you how many, how much is your frame rate. Now, uh, obviously the lower the frame rate, the more choppy it's going to look. The higher the frame rate, the more smooth it's going to look on the GIF. Um, you don't want to go overboard on this because obviously it's going to be a very big file if you allow it to have too much stuff. So the next thing is uh, current size is about 1920 by 1080. I don't need to have something that large. If anything, we can probably go down to right about, we'll say uh, 460. All right, and then went ahead and did maintain aspect ratio. All right, next. All right, and we don't need to worry about this. Now see, the watermark will probably come with any of the trials. It's up to you. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave mine off. I bought the licensing, it's definitely worth it. I've had this software for a long time. I hit next, let's name it. So I can put this and call this, what do you know? And there we go. I wanna make sure I put it into the right file. And hit save and finish. And this should take real brief here. Excellent, it is already done. So what we'll do is let's open it up and let's see how it looks. And there we go. So this is our GIF. Uh, essentially, you can be able to put this into your live video. Let's do one more just for the sake of the exercise here. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna lock this track. I wanna leave the word bubble there, but I'm gonna shut it off for right now. We're gonna head delete. I'm gonna go back. Let's go to media and I'm gonna add another video file that I have. We'll drop this in here. Right click, add the timeline. Playhead, there we go. All right, and we can get rid of the sound. There's no need to have it. And let's see. Excellent, so you can see I'm starting something. I'm gonna hit on this little timeline here, we're gonna hit S. I'm gonna hit Control Delete and it moves it all the way back. And excellent, so let's put that right about there and we're gonna unlock the word bubble again. We can say hit the thumbs up. So let's say you're doing this for your YouTube live stream. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You know what, let's go ahead, let's, let's do something a little different. We've got this picture right here. Let's go into visual effects. Let's add something a little bit fun here. So why don't we just do a little bit of color adjustment. And we're just gonna play with the sliders here. Just play with them, get it to where we have a little bit more saturation. So let's just say that we wanna do something just completely off the wall looking, you know? So there we go, oh yeah, that look, just looks wild. So here we go. So you can see we kind of just keep toying around with this and doing what we want with it. This gives you an idea that you can kind of do some stuff just for the fun of it. We'll hit share, local file, custom production settings, GIF, hit next, 30 frames per second is okay for me. We're gonna make this just a little bit smaller so it's not a gigantic file. We're gonna hit next. We're gonna name this one thumbs up. All right, and we'll hit finish. Let's take a look at it. And there we go. You can see it repeats every single time. And speaking of using Camtasia, actually I've used this before in one of our previous videos where we showed how to set up a video for your Facebook business page. Go take a look at it up here and you'll see exactly what I mean. There's so many more features in Camtasia you're gonna enjoy. So I'll see you there.